Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In machine learning, one of the most important concept is supervised learning. What is exactly supervised learning and why is it so important? We will discuss in this video. But before we discuss the details about supervised learning, I want to take a step back and really discuss the definitions. And the reason I want to discuss the definition is because sometimes people often don't understand the difference between AI or ML. So let's get started. So artificial intelligence or AI is a very broad field in which we are trying to build machines and algorithms to mimic human behavior or human consciousness. Learning is a subset of AI in which we are enabling machine to learn from data. It's a very broad field and there's a whole spectrum of models in machine learning going from very simple models like linear regression to very complicated complex models like deep neural network. Generative AI is a subset of deep learning models. The generative AI models are based on the transformer technologies and core of the transformer technology is the deep learning uh, models. Let's demystify AI. I want to categorize AI into three broad categories. So there is an ANI, artificial narrow intelligence. We have we have generative AI, and we have AGI, artificial general intelligence. All the machine learning based models which are trying to learn from the data and predict are categorized in ANI, artificial narrow intelligence. Whatever cool stuff we are seeing right these days. For example, large language models, large vision models, part of the generative AI in which models are able to generate new data or new uh, instances of the data, whether it's text or images or video or audio. AGI is a new emerging field where we are trying to build a general intelligence. So let's see what's the traditional way of solving problems using machines. So the traditional way of solving the problem is you write the rules, you evaluate the solutions, if you're happy, you launch your solution. If you're not happy, you analyze error and you go back to the problem statement. What's the, what is the machine learning approach of solving problem? You want to study some problem. And instead of writing your own rules, you replace that part by a lot of data and a model. If you're happy, you launch your solutions. If you're not happy, you analyze your error, you go back to the to study the problem. So we described that AI is categorized into artificial narrow intelligence, generative AI, and artificial general intelligence. Let's focus on the artificial narrow intelligence. In artificial narrow intelligence, we can categorize machine learning models into supervised model, unsupervised models, and reinforcement models. Let's focus on the supervised models in this video. And in later videos, we will discuss the unsupervised and reinforcement learning models. In supervised learning, the models learn from the labeled data. And by that, I mean that we teach model to learn from specific examples. In supervised learning, we are dealing with two types of components. First, we have our inputs. These are also called the features or predictors. We use this information to make predictions. For example, if you are building a medical diagnostic tool using supervised machine learning, then your predictors or features could be the blood pressure, heart rate, or temperature ratings. Second, we have our output. These are the output we are predicting. And these comes into two forms. Output could be quantitative, for example, in regression tasks, or output could be qualitative, for example, in classification tasks. How does supervised machine learning model work? So we can categorize it broadly speaking into two sort of categories, a regression model, which predicts the quantitative uh, output, and the classification model, which predicts the qualitative output or the categories. So regression is a supervised learning technique used to predict the continuous outcome variable based on one or more predictor variables. Classification is a supervised learning technique used to predict the category or class of an instance based on one or more predictor variables. It's used when the output variable is a category. Let's take a practical example. Let's suppose we are building a housing prediction model so we can we can divide it into we can divide it into four steps we have input here we collect data about houses for example size location bedroom age of the house then we have 
training here we show the algorithm hundreds or, or thousands of houses with known sale price and then we have learning part where the algorithm discovers patterns like larger houses in good location tend to cost more for example and the last step is the prediction when a given new house is featured it can estimate the price of the house understanding supervised learning is important because it forms the foundations for many applications in artificial intelligence from recommendation system to uh, medical diagnostic tools these models help machines to make predictions which were once only possible using human expertise in our next video we will see specific examples of supervised learning algorithms and see how these algorithms learn from the data if you like this video please don't forget to like and subscribe and share your comments down below I'll see you in the next video.